we actually have a shark deck for you today. Some more goatee interesting card piles and um, Buster Blader. Yeah, so many cool decks. All right, to the 34. Ah, you guys already know the drill. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button. Make sure, you know, you've got the little check thing going on. So you guys miss out more awesome content. So the first thing we're going to be looking at here is sharks. Now, full disclaimer here. You know I'm a sucker for my, my water-based decks. I can't play them for anything, but it is always cool to get the chance to see, you know, some character-based decks kind of coming out here and showcasing that, hey, you know, these can actually do something semi-relevantly. And that's why I like, you know, anytime we can see a water deck kind of reboot itself here. It's kind of nice. So we have triple copies of Abyss Shark, triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring, triple copies of the Butanifold Princess, we have triple copies of Buzzsaw Shark, true copies of the Crystal Shark, one copy of the Dream Shark, triple copies of Lantern Shark, we have one copy of the Lifeless Leaf Fish, one copy of Right Hand Shark, two copies of the Silent Angler, two copies of the Silent Sinel, two copies of Synthana, and we have triple copies of the Xyz Remora here. And we have one copy of Foolish Barrel, we have triple copies of Chalice for some defensive options, two copies of Pot of uh, Desires for draw power, we have two White Mirror, and we have triple goes and Match, triple copies of Infinite Impermanence, and triple copies of Solemn Judgment here, wrapping up your main deck. Down in the extra deck area, we have two totally awesome, one Stealth Crack and Spawn, one Utopic Future with one Utopic Future Draco, we have one Silent Honor Dark, one two Stealth Krakens with one Silent Honor, uh, one Nash Knight, your one CXYZ Nash Knight, one Bahamut Shark, two Bahamut Shark, and two Totally Awesome. Then we have triple copies of the Craw. We have tri or one copy of Pankertops, two Ghost Bell, one Change of Heart, one Feather Duster with triple copies of Lightning Storm. We have two Debunks and two copies of Dimensional Barrier here, wrapping up quite a very interesting line of goodies here and i do like what i'm seeing here next up here is um yeah this is i i kid you not let's take a moment to, to really analyze this you're looking at a goatee runic deck now full disclaimer here i don't know what we're doing here i don't know what the purpose of this is i don't know but you know what one of my friends took this monstrosity to their localized event and actually they did well with it and I'm not gonna lie to you when you can see stuff like this actually kind of toppling on out here and doing something it's very much pretty impressive so we have one copy of the botanical princess two drawers worm with triple copies of magnet hut so we have some by steel defense lines we have two hoppier squadron with one lifeless leaf fish we have one copy of paces with two copies of shift we have one copy of Snopius, one copy of Zep. And we have one Call by the Grave, your one Monster Gate, your one Reasoning, your triple copies of Runic Destruction, two Dispelling with triple copies of Flashing Fire, two copies of the Runic Fountain, triple copies of Freezing Curses, one copy of the Golden Droplet with triple copies of Slumber, triple Smiting Storm, and triple copies of Just the Tip. Down in the next track, this is where things kind of get interesting for what you can build into. So we have one White Aura Whale, one Shang Ying with one Omega, one copy of Herald of the Arc Light, one Goaty of the Deep Beyond, one Cupid Pitch, uh, two copies of the Bicorn Goaty, and two copies of the Serpent of the Goaty. And then we just have two copies of Hugin and triple copies of Gary here. We're not even tutoring for any of the option trees um, outside of those. Then we have one more Drus Worm, triple Cosmic Cyclone, your triple Forbidden Droplet, one Arby's Feather Duster, triple evenly matched, and triple copies of Solemn Judgment here, wrapping up quite honestly, one of the more interesting little things that I have seen kind of showing up out here. So I'll take it. It's what you want to see. Next up is Buster Blade. Now this list is a little bit older, but I, I still wanted to showcase this, bring this up to optimization speed, you know, play some ball drakes in here instead of Sauron ears. Uh, if you really want to, maybe not because you know, you're playing Lubellions, but there's a lot of like analyzation and things you can really appreciate out of this deck because you don't see a lot of people trying the Buster Blader lock anymore. If anything, the Buster Blader lock has kind of been lost to what feels like the test of time here, but like th this is still hilarious when this actually resolves. Like this just pressures your opponent into like certain losing positions. So <laughs> who knew locking their extra deck would feel pretty good? So we have two copies of the Buster Blade of the Dragon Swordmaster. 
triple copies of Buster Welp with triple copies of Drosrin. We have triple copies of Magna Hut with two copies of Sarnir. We have one Ecclesia with one Fleur Elise. We have one Dragon Buster, the Destruction Sword, two Fallen of Albaz, triple copies of Lubelion, and one copy of the Wizard Buster. Then you have standard triple brand of fusion, your one brand regained, with your one karma of the destruction sword. We have triple copies of Nadir's Servant, triple copies of Pot of Prosperity, one brand of beast, two destruction sword of memories, a triple prologue, and triple copies of Trap Trick here. And then you got one copy of Frigette, one Striker Dragon with one Protector Whelp, one Spheres, two copies of the Buster Dragon, you got one good old copy of Mir or Titanic Clad, one Mir Jade. Your one Lubelion with one Garuda, one Anintis, two Dragon Buster Blader Awesome Super Swordsman, one Albion, and one Alba Lenitus. Side deck here, you got one Saranir, one Quacky Maradraco with triple copies of Cosmic Cyclone, your one Harpy's Feather Duster, triple Lightning Storm, triple Regeki, and triple copies of Evenly Matched here. Wrapping up the firepower that you're really bringing to the table here, and you know, I really like what we're seeing here. Ladies and gentlemen, like this is the good stuff that really can pressure your opponent and just get free W's for you. Next up here is Dark World with oh boy, Brandon and High Spirits. You know what is what is this? Why why is Dark World trying sh some shenanigans out here? Leave the Brandon and High Spirits to the experts out here. But I will say that this is kind of cheesy. Um, I haven't really considered much of an option tree with this. But this does seem like it could do some pretty cool things in terms of searchability. So you never know. Little innovations like that can really make or break a situation. So we have one copy of Albion. We have one copy of Beige. Two copies of Brow. We have two copies of Cerule. Triple copies of Bigfoot. One Chupacabra with two Mothman. We have triple copies of Nessie. One Ogopogo. One Thunderbird with your one Jackalope. And we have two copies of Fairy Tail Luna. And you got the triple copies of Genta, triple copies of Graffa, triple copies of Skittles. And then we have one Silva with triple copies of Snow, two copies of Lord Darkness, your two Brandon and High Spirits, one card destruction, two copies of Ascension, triple copies of Gates of the Dark World, and two copies of Trade In, wrapping up your main deck. Down the extra deck, you have the one Security Dragon, one Ceruja with one News Reporter, you got one Nightmare Phoenix with one Griffin, one IP with one Appalosa, and then we have one Nugaras, one Baguski. One Zombie Stein with one Coach King. We got one Abyss Dweller, and then we have one Masquerade, and two copies of Big Angry Graffa. Then, of course, Triple Lava Golem, two copies of your Necro Banshee, Triple Lightning Storm, your two Zombie World, your two Deck Devies, and your triple copies of Skill Drain here. Wrapping up the I Lose to Cash Terra Express, but you know what? For a localized level, I will say that this is probably a semi decent build. Maybe. Maybe in a couple more months you'll see more success with this, but I still think that this is this is one of those things you're going to see now, and you're like, okay, I dig it. Last as we have here is um, Inspector Border with Dimension Shifters and Jalgens, but we're not playing a Spellbook of Judgment package. That is actually kind of interesting. So this is going to be a slightly more revised version of Stun, I feel like. It's going to get you the chance to, I mean, I guess play the game. I, I definitely feel like Fossil Dyna is just better than this, but I guess in a world where you can just crack down or compulse back your opponent's normal summon and, you know, put more pressure on them, I guess this works out. So we've won Black Cluster Soldier, Triple Dimension Shifter with two Ecclesia, Triple Inspector Border with Triple Jogan, we have Triple Nadir Servant with Triple Copies of Pot of Duality, Triple Pot of Prosperity with two Regeki. We have Triple Small World. Actually, it's kind of relevant. We have Triple Compulse with Triple Crackdown. We have one Dogmatica Punishment, Triple Evenly Matched, Triple Solemn Judgment, and Triple Copies of Solemn Steerike. Now, they actually get the One Nightmare Cerberus, One Nightmare Phoenix, One Barricade Borg Blocker, One Utopia with One Silent Arc. We have one Gaia Dragon with one Zeus, one Sheridan, one Abyss Dweller with one Wind Pegasus. We also have one Titani Clad, two Garuda. One Anitus and one Mega Fleet. I feel like I'm in a time capsule here seeing that. We have triple copies of Alpha the Master Beast, one Panker Tops, triple dimensional fissure, two twin twisters, triple anti spell fragrance, and triple copies of Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, wrapping up this chunk of relatively cool deck profile. So what do you guys think about everything that's unfolding here? Please leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace. 
patrons. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.